Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. <clears throat> Please hit the like and subscribe button, do all that normal stuff. Thanks so much. We're growing really fast. Now, recently, I've, I've had a reason to make this video for two reasons. One, I found this in the garbage and I need to test it. And two, I get questions all the time from people that ask, how do you use an electric pressure washer? Now, some of you out there might be thinking, man, this isn't, you know, this is the easiest thing in the world. Why are you making this video? There are plenty of people that have never used power equipment before, that have never used electric before, and they have to learn just like you did once. So be nice in the comments. So anyway, a couple of days ago, I was out riding around on garbage night like I do, and I came across an electric pressure washer. It's real simple to use. This is the on and off switch right here. It comes with the plug, which just gets plugged into the wall easy peasy on this plug you'll see test and reset that is your gfci in case it gets wet shorts out it'll cut this off instead of killing the power so just the reset button is all you need we're going to plug that in in just a minute now it also comes with a hose and a wand this wand you just pull that like the trigger on a gun, and if you want to lock it in place, when you pull it back, you can push that little button in, and uh, sometimes it'll allow you to lock it in place. So, that's all that thing does right there. So we're just going to take this, make sure that it's all straightened out. You don't want it to be kinked in any way. Sorry, I know I'm off camera right now, but I'm straightening out the hose. Now on this machine, or on any of these, you're going to have two places that look like hoses go on them. One is going to be smaller in diameter than the other because one on the back is for the garden hose, and the one on the front is for your hose and wand. So you're just going to screw that on. These are plastic. So when you screw them on, you can use a pair of pliers, and if you're right-handed, use your right hand. That really makes a difference. So all you have to do is screw that on. I'm on now. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass. We're going to screw that on. And what I was saying was you can take a pair of pliers and make it tighter if you want to. A little bit of leak is okay. There should be a rubber washer, a little rubber O-ring around the outside of that. Just fit that in there, get that started, and tighten her down. Now on the back side, these usually come with some sort of adapter for quick release. And I have no idea where I just set it, so let me pause this. This is your quick release adapter. It's got two sides to it. And this the skinny part goes inside of the blue. And if you just push it in place, it'll clip and it'll stay. And when you want to take it off, you use your fingers and you push, you pull this outward and it will release that. It just springs back in place. So on this particular one, this part screws on here. And again, nothing wants to screw on today. Not sure why. Why am I having such trouble screwing these on? Alright, it's because I'm in a hurry trying to do it on video. Now once that's on and in place, you're going to take your garden hose. You're going to screw this end on to the garden hose. It doesn't go on very much, just a couple of turns. And then you're going to want to push that in place. And when you push it in place and it clicks, you're done. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the wall. Okay, so all I've done now is plug it into the wall and hit the power switch. And when you hit the power switch, you'll hear it come on for just a second, and then it'll be completely silent until you pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, it'll turn the pump on. And when you let the trigger off, it turns the pump back off. 
So when you're using this thing, if you're worried that maybe it's not working, pull the trigger. trigger back off and it shuts itself back off electric pressure washers do not stay running the entire time so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this spot I'm gonna get you in a better view I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up put it in fast motion for you And using it is just that easy when you're finished just reverse the process unplug it first so there's no electricity remove the hoses wind everything up don't kink any of your hoses put it away and next time you'll be ready to go so that particular thing is from my air conditioner leaking and when I cut the grass the grass gets stuck in the wetness then it rots and it leaves all that dirt and mud so hopefully this teaches you how to use an electric pressure washer. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.